Welcome to Edge Intelligence Meetup. I am Suresh and today I am to tell you about a gentle introduction about SGD with Momentum, RMS Prof, Adam Optimizers. All of these are used for optimization in various ML and DLL algorithms. So before that, I am explaining the difference between these three optimizers just uh, we have to just brief about what is exponentially weighted average so because uh, in sgt with momentum rms prof and adam optimizer in these uh, optimizers generally the same concept using that exponentially weighted average concept so what is exponentially weighted average concept the brief about like uh, just take an example of days and temperatures so you are recording that uh, you are recording the temperature according to days so if you are taking the average general average like that and you are you are plotting the graph you are getting this kind of oscillations right but if you are using these equations and uh, this is vt like previous weight you can say a previous value and this is the now current average and j just kind of this equations like this is the current and this is the previous and this previous feed to the like this previous feed to the current if what you are predicting if you are predicting 99 then that's vt minus 1 you are using and you are calculating so if you, the using this equation this kind of the graph red color graph the gating so here you looking here is less oscillations same concept using for in uh, optimization algorithm for updating the weight for updating uh, the weight parameters in ML and DL algorithms and for example this is the uh, diagram for SGD without momentum in without momentum you looking here that uh, uh, there are oscillation is the more here and it's maybe the training time maybe it's due to this oscillation training time also increase and maybe you unable to uh, converse the global minima and SGD with momentum that oscillation is the less and it will, it will convert the fast and training will be the fast so that this is the basic uh, uh, overview like what is SGD and with with SGD uh, with with momentum and without momentum the SGD next uh, i am going to uh, discuss first the difference between SGD with momentum and RMS prop propagations. The both uh, optimizers use uh, for updating the weight parameter in machine learning, deep learning algorithms. So uh, previously I discussed like uh, this is the uh, exponentially weighted average uh, that uh, um, uh, algorithms. So these equations like this is the momentum. For example, here for this. Uh, as it is with the momentum we we take as a variable like is momentum this is the current momentum this is the previous momentum and what is the beta one and be uh, this beta uh, what is this here this is the learning parameters this is the parameter that we can generally we decide 0.9 in uh, uh, it is experimental key what to that parameter we have to decide that is also learning parameters so this is the equation we have to put in finally uh, and g here uh, that um, gradient at time gradient time along with w so this is the gradient the gradient multiplied by 1 by beta and this is a previous momentum multiplied by beta 1 and finally this mt1 this m finally this momentum multiplied by the eta and subtract from the previous weight and update the current weight so this is the uh, equation for sgd with the momentum same here for rms pro what is difference here you are taking here like we first like root mean square rms here will be root mean square in here the difference here the row and row row is the same like beta one and uh, uh, like uh, uh, gt here gt here like uh, the gradient at the time t along w so gt square the square term we are taking here the, this this is the difference between the as it is the momentum equation and 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 rms prop equations and for update the weight well, like whatever that w delta w this is the this term delta w in the sgd with the momentum eta multiplied by mt here delta w is eta divided by root mean square of that vt whatever momentum you are getting plus epsilon epsilon for if, if for example it is zero it should not be divided by zero that's why we are taking epsilon here multiply by g so multiply by u 
so this um, um, this equations so uh, yeah so this this equation in taking or and and finally we are updating to it so this is the difference between the uh, as it is with momentum and RMS prop. So there, these are basic views here, the square term here, only single terms. And here, taking the root of this uh, VT, because we already have a square term. So it's experimental. If different people taking, the, uh, they are using the same data set, they are using as it is the momentum, as it is RMS prop, they are taking, getting different results. Some so sometime according to the data it's it's also the experiment also now we are taking the adam optimizer the adam optimizer is the advanced optimizer uh, this is the adam optimizer this is the advanced optimizer so this adam optimizer use both SGD with momentum and rms prop so for example SGD momentum equation we are already discussed about this this is the, for example beta 1 or this is an another that learning parameter is the beta 2 for rms prop that's the same equation previously we discussed about it and here for updating the weight the vt divided by that root mean square terms and multiply by gt and uh, this update update the weight so both sgt with the momentum and rms were both used for the adam optimizer so that's why uh, like uh, the, uh, every optimizer popular now so uh, adam optimizer generally i found that my it's my experience it's it's better results generally uh, the first if I try if for for example I have to build some PUC and if I want to try first then I will choose first I don't try uh, it's maybe uh, sometime like uh, maybe it will fail sometime it's, uh, it will fail sometime we are getting the better result with the SD with the M yeah, yeah different animals but in the, most of the time the Adam optimizer getting the good results so this is the difference uh, between SGD and and RMS and RM optimizers and beta 1 beta 4 then again hyperparameter to tune so these both all about it SGT with M, RMS Prof, Adam optimizers thanks and thanks for watching this video and join meetup community and join and subscribe my meetup channel thank you